the Snyder Cut, Justice League finally came out on HBO Max. Uh, and in the lead up to this, though, something called Snyder Gate happened and this was i mean it it took the sort of the social media world by storm we're still sort of seeing the fallout shake out but snyder gate essentially and john you can correct me uh where you need to but uh it involves a another youtube channel called geeks and gamers and they have been very sort of vocal champions of hashtag release the Snyder Cut for, for a long time now. And they were sort of, uh, I don't want to say <laughs> affiliated, but they again, they were championing the Snyder Cut. And they ha- they're very influential and, you know, big fans of this project happening. And they had a, a charity stream for suicide prevention, which is very near and dear uh, to Zack Snyder's heart, given everything that he's went through with his, you know, personal trauma and everything that led to where we are today, um, he came on that live stream for charity, and it started things off with, you know, saying that, hey, you know, before we get started, I, I want to say that, you know, I see on the donation page there's, st- I'm paraphrasing here, so uh, I see on the donation page that there's still the Geeks and Gamers logo. I just want to make it clear that. Uh, we are not affiliated with that. I just need to say that. And then in the almost the same breath, and I, and I say almost for a reason, he he pivots the talk uh, to, you know, the, the unfortunate mass shooting, um, you know, at the, the massage parlors and, you know, what, what happened there and how that it's, you know, this the world isn't supposed to be about hate. And if justice league has taught us anything, it's about people coming together and, you know, just basically condemning hate in in the world. And so he does that in, you know, it's, it was quick. It was a few sentences, you know, but it's sort of, it was like a minute or two at the top of his interview segment. Yeah. But it unleashed sort of this. Did he slow down his speech or. Oh, <laughs> there was no, there was no, a couple minutes? there was no slow mos and there was no being uh, bathed in in music that was somewhat out of place, like right. like in the Snyder Cut. Right. But it definitely sort of set off this. It set off a mother box of controversy uh, throughout the the social media and on online world. And you know, people were you know geeks and gamer fans, obviously felt like Zack Snyder was throwing them under the bus. Uh, And, you know, people that are against geeks and gamers were, I think, sort of cheering in the streets that, yes, he condemned them. John, did I did I sort of encapsulate what what happened there? Yeah. And I think this is coming on the heels of like a lot of conversation about like toxic fandom. And I think that geeks and gamers and and there's a whole kind of like subsect of of YouTube channels that feels like the term toxic fandom is almost geared at them. And I think like this, for lack of better words, like triggered them because it, it, it like it activated their audience and made them feel like, Oh, he's, he's basically associating these, all these things that he's talking about in rapid fire at the top of this interview, he's associating with geeks and gamers. Like he's, he's saying he's not affiliated. He's, talking about, you know, we all need to work together to end hate. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, like there are there are moments on some of these YouTube channels where like these they come off as like a little right wing and like I don't know how to I don't really know how to articulate it. It, Not that I don't want to like paint them. I don't want to paint people as right wing if they're not. I just want to I just want to. I guess what I'm trying to say is like there's a lot of mention of like the culture war and like standing Mm. up for what you believe in and and like being strongly against the like quote unquote SJW like social justice cancel culture thing that happens. And I think that some of these channels find themselves at odds with that Uh, and they felt like this Snyder thing at the top of the interview was basically – an attack on them and trying to put them in their place. <laughs> and I, and, and I know a, like a, a lot, a lot of geeks and gamers fans have now come out to, to sort of rip Zack Snyder for it. I, I think that there's something to be said in defense of Zack Snyder that I think it's being taken sort of the wrong way. And John, you can, you can disagree with me if you want, but 
I feel like the first part of his statement, and, I, and I've, I've pulled up his statement and say, talking about, I know that on our donation page, we still have the Geeks and Gamers logo. I just want to say uh, and talk about this. We are not really, if we are really not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers as far as I'm concerned. I really just want to make that clear, period. And then he goes, I really just want to, uh, I also want to just say that in light of recent events, if Justice League teaches anything about coming together, there's no room for hate. I just think that it's an important message. As a father of Asian children, it really hits close to home for me. I just want to put it out there. There's no room for hate. And that's just what it's about. And <laughs> he, he, he's they're, like, they're, they're two, you know, on, right on opposite sides of each other. I don't think that he is condemning them for being a hate group like people people are trying to make it out to be. I, I just I just don't. I think I think he was it, the first part of his statement to me was clearly a studio driven. Hey, we're not affiliated officially with these people. We've told them to take the logo off the donation thing or to quit acting like they're affiliated with us. Uh, and if you go on there, you need to you need to make that clear. And th- that to me felt like he had a studio you know, uh, sort of gun pointing at him to put mm-hmm. that out there. And then yeah. legitimately motivated by what was going on in the world also said what he said. Uh, it, but people conflate those two. And now, but it's easy it, it, it spurred this civil war. It's easy to conflate though, because like they, again, they feel like they're in the, they're in the middle of this culture war. And here comes a guy who says these two things, these two thoughts, which, By all means, like maybe they are separate thoughts and it sounds like they are like I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that. But given given the context of this channel and some of these other channels on YouTube and where they feel they are in this quote unquote culture war, like you could see how it could be taken that way. Yeah, absolutely. And and that's why I think it is taken off that way. I mean, it's it's spread like wildfire. Uh, Everybody is is weighing in, you know, to either support geeks and gamers or condemn Zack Snyder, it seems. And I'm looking at it's like, I don't think he goes on that that charity stream if he if he feels like that they're this hate group. I guess that's that's what it comes down to to me. Yeah, I agree. And and look, as a as a master troll myself, I, I think that there is an element and, and there is something that like viewers should be aware of in that, like when something like that happens, it's a amazing opportunity for a YouTube channel or a set a series of YouTube channels to make it into a huge story, play the victim card and be play the outrage card which they accuse other channels of Uh, that's not, I'm not saying geeks and gamers is doing that. I'm not saying any other specific channels are doing it. I'm just saying if you wanted to pretend like this thing (laughs) was way fucking worse than it is. You're sounding a lot like Snyder right now. No, you're I'm saying not, one hey, thing and then following up John's John's saying that this is a geeks and gamers conspiracy <laughs> I'm saying, to I'm take saying, down look, I'm Zack saying, Snyder. They no. wanted this to happen. Yeah, they, they trolled it. No, what I'm saying is take the geeks and gamers <laughs> logo out of my statement for a second, okay? Yeah. The, take their logo out. There's there's no there is incentive for them to like overreact to this and use it as a ploy or use it as a as a as an instrument to get more views like to completely lean in and play into it and play the victim card and use it as another stepping stone in this like culture war concept that that some channels are peddling not geeks and gamers they don't do that kind of <laughs> they don't do that kind of low hanging fruit kind of <laughs> they content. wouldn't dare they were a rescue they. team not assassins but, but Davis, like, do you have a take you drunk ass <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to figure out what the problem was when you were when you were describing him like wait where is this going who who has a problem with any of this and then once you well, so he, he pieced the puzzle he, together i was uh, i mean again he he's popping on this charity stream which was essentially organized by many geeks and gamers contributors Mm-hmm. And but again, he's oh. still going on there. So I get it. Yeah, I, I just if, if the if the uh, studio had a problem with that property, they wouldn't allow him to go on there. That's true. So that is true. It, so there, that wouldn't happen. So yeah, I, I think they're making much to do about a, a nothing right here. Well, it, it, a lot has not been them. made of it. Not I love them. a good gate, you know, Snyder Gate, yeah. Watergate. Not them. Not them. <laughs> Not not 
Not, not them. freaks and gamers. Or We're removing gamers. their logo from this conversation. <laughs> this is completely about other channels who are turning this into a scandal. We're yes. not we're not, we're not going to pop their logo on this well, conversation. Well, well, uh, well I mean oh, that's we're the gonna, whole We're using we're using them for views 100%. <laughs> we're leeches, dude. Well, we're the cockroaches as John has already described uh, previously that we we are we are the cockroach. Uh, of, uh, uh, logo, to the logo, world. Our thumbnail for this video is, is just going to be their logo. Yeah, I mean well, I mean I, I think, but, yeah, and donate if you can. And it actually, it, it's spyware and it actually launches you to our donation page. So we're just siphoning. So, and we need it. Uh, anyway. It's horrible. Yeah, that's terrible. But anyway, I just, I wanted to address that because it is in every day, you know, since, since it happened and, you know, people are still sort of finding their way to the story. It's becoming bigger and bigger. And there are those out there that are really fanning the flames and I, I just I felt the need to say something sort of in defense of, of Zack Snyder here, because I feel like he's, he's taken a beat in this. Like, oh, how could he how could he sort of bite the hand that feeds him and stuff like that? And I feel has- I, I feel for the guy in a certain respect, because that first part of the statement is like, oh, man, that's a that is a PR guy that said, if you don't do this, like your career <laughs> yeah. is over. You know, totally kind of deal. PR guy telling him to say that. Yeah. And totally. then I do think the second part, though, is from the heart. You know, it was it was a current event that it had that it happened. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, the problem is when you add those two things together, it's a toxic <laughs> brew. And then and then <laughs> depending on who's making content about that, it becomes even more toxic. And, so, yeah. and, you know, to Davis's point, too, of all the times to not slow it down and space it out just just a bit more to really hammer home the context of what was actually going on. It's a shame, Zach. You should have snidered it up right there, uh, but you didn't. And you played yourself. Uh, but, you know, so I just want to make sure that we address that. Do you think he has any level of awareness that this whole thing is playing out on YouTube right now? A hundred percent. Yeah. I, I think, I think he definitely does. And I, and I think, I, I mean, I, I haven't really looked into that much about what the actual relationship that he has with the geeks and gamers guys and, and girls and stuff like that, that are affiliated. But, you know, I, I feel that this should be sort of a relief and crowning moment for him. So I hope this doesn't uh, take away from it, regardless of how you feel about the Snyder Cut itself. Like the fact that it's I, I'm I'm excited that it's out there just so we don't have to hear about release the Snyder Cut anymore. Like it's yeah. it's out of the bag. Like it's to, to quote, you can't unring that bell. So it's finally out there. So, but I, I do think that he's aware of it, and I think more, and more people are becoming aware of it. So I wanted. To- how much should he actually care? He got his message out that matters to him. He's got the kids in his life that are his love and joy, mm-hmm. and that's what matters to him. Like, how much are these fans going to change his future projects? Well, I, I think uh, that I think all. I think exactly. yeah. It, I think it's going to determine. I, I mean, the movement. It, it matters more for him to try to help his children in the future, and you know. Yeah, what? and and honestly, what he said is only going to solidify and cement his stance and his like fortune with the studios. Like, it's not like yeah. he went on there and said some stuff that you can't take back. Like he he. he <laughs> I, I mean, the, I, he <laughs> towed the line, dude. He as, as I went as I went down. As I as I went down the rabbit hole of what was going on, uh, there is a rumor out there that it was like studio either told him like either you go say this about distancing yourself or you don't get your movie, uh, which I, I think it's late in the game. It was too late in the game for that to have happened, but maybe that were that was the pressures that led up to this kind of deal. What? But yeah, that's I mean that's just much. it could that's could, could be much. could be com- think... complete BS. But no, yeah, that's that's it's rumor and innuendo. Insane. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, it's trades at a high price here at the Best Damn Nerd Show. Hey, if you've made it this far, we appreciate you watching and listening. Please hit like and subscribe as we try and now distance ourselves from this story. But, uh, you know, hashtag Snydergate, hashtag BDNSgate. Thanks so much.